guys, what's up? This is Doc 6mm. We're going to be playing with the Glock 26, 10 round mag, 10 round mag, and uh, we're going to be trying to take out some pigs at 100 yards. Let's see uh, if we can get that done with this little bitty subcompact. Not very good. I have any more ammo on me. Yeah, I got a few more rounds. Let's fling a few more out there at 100 and uh, take out that pig. <laughs> All right, even the Glock 26 can make them scared at 100. Hey guys, what's up? This is Doc 6 Millimeter with a little uh, review of, of one of my personal favorite little carry guns. The Glock 26. We're also going to talk about some holster options and just kind of the, the practicality, I guess, if that's the term, uh, for this little gun. I saw something on a video recently on YouTube that kind of made me giggle. Uh, someone safety checked a weapon and uh, said, Oh, yep, it is loaded, so <laughs> we must be safe. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. But, anyways, um, this is a Glock model 26 is a very lightweight compact offering by Glock um, right in at about 19 high end at 19 ounces um, and depending upon your ammo and your magazine that you place in it around 24 and a half ounces loaded and that's kind of what I usually run with this thing um, I run the 10 round magazines um, almost exclusively uh, for carry. Uh, sometimes I will carry some bigger loaded mags in my vehicle um, and occasionally carry it as a backup mag. Federal HST 124 grain plus P, awesome load also. Um, this is a great little pistol in my opinion. Um, you know, it's designed as a concealed carry option, but it could double uh, for home protection. Uh, Hiking, just about anything. Because of its size and weight, it really lends itself to a lot of other options. Yet, being a Glock has almost the same shootability as the bigger Glocks. Um, I have no problem connecting it at, a, at decent ranges with this little pistol um, once you learn how to shoot it well. Um, classic Glock, safe action trigger, inherently safe very low profile magazine or uh, not magazine release but uh, slide catch a lot of people kind of dink the glocks for this um, i actually like it and i do have a glock 34 and have ran the, the extended slide release um, but i like it because it keeps the side very slim very low profile which is what i want because i'm right-handed and this side is against my body in carrying this pistol traditional glock style sights is what i have a night side option I think is definitely a good option for this as a concealed carry piece, uh, but not necessarily mandatory in my opinion. Um, I hear a lot of complaints about the Glock in that you can't get a full firing grip in that once you grip, grip this pistol, your pinky has no place to go. And at first when I fe first felt this pistol, to me that did feel very funny. Um, but after putting several, several thousand, thousands of rounds through this pistol, um, I found out I don't really need my pinky to be able to shoot good. And the pinky strength that you have in your grip is very minimal. Um, the, the grip angle on the Glock is something that I've never liked in full-size Glocks. Um, to me, it's, it's too sharp of an angle. I like more of the traditional 1911 grip angle. 
but in this Glock 26, to me, it's it's about as good as it gets. It really, when I place my hand, kind of medium-sized hands, uh, it really just fits into the web of my hand and makes it a really solid grip. And I have no problem controlling this, controlling rapid shots uh, with this grip. Another, one of the biggest advantages and uh, in this pistol, I think, is the ability to get a really high slide grip on this pistol without getting slide bit. And that's what you're able to do with this rig. Um, it offers a very low bore axis, which really helps you maintain fast follow-up shots and the ability to stay on target without having a lot of muzzle rise and muzzle flip. For comparison um, to the Glock 19, you're gaining a, a couple things. You're gaining a, uh, a little bit less length, same length on the action, and a little less grip length, and a lighter weight. For me, 10 rounds is usually, or 11, is probably going to be adequate for most things that I can foresee myself getting into and I almost always carry a backup mag but not always there are a lot of magazine offerings for this this thing being that it will accept all the larger Glock magazines so we roll in with a Glock 19 magazine has no problems fitting I have not had any problem with hundreds of thousands of rounds uh, or I should say that thousands of rounds through different size magazines have not had any problem with them um, you can also add something like this pierce grip extension um, and this is a plus one grip extension uh, but on my magazines I actually get plus two rounds um, there are plus two rounds available for Glock magazines or no actual round advantage but a additional place to put your pinky which in my opinion is kind of a disadvantage because it takes away the already short form factor of this pistol and makes it something larger. Um, I, if I want to go with a longer grip gun for some reason uh, then I'll just go with a Glock 19. In comparing with some other small compact guns that are full-size calibers like the excellent little car PM9 the Glock is quite a bit bigger. It is wider, 1.18, and that's the total width, uh, including the slide catch. Um, quite a bit larger than the PM9, and the grip length, let me get these lined up here, slide to slide, is about the same. About the same. Um, profile. Or over the Glock. Another excellent little pistol. Um, doesn't quite have the shootability factor of the Glock 26, but an excellent little rig. You know, what other options are there out there? The Smith & Wesson M&P C, an excellent little pistol. Um, don't have a lot of experience with it, but feels to me very similar to this Glock. However, it's heavier, um, wider, and I, to me, I'm just not a big fan. Um, the shootability of this gun is, is a huge factor for me. Um, I shoot other Glocks, and it's very similar to shooting these smaller Glocks, in my opinion. As well as the Glock 26 offers me some real advantages when it comes to firepower. Not only am I packing 11 plus 1 in the gun with a standard flush fit magazine, but I have the option for carrying a 15 round Glock 19 magazine, a 17 round magazine, I don't have one up here with me today, or even 33 rounds. I mean that's what other what other compact or subcompact pistol can afford you that much firepower. Now of course you're not going to carry it with this, but this is an option for having loaded in your in your vehicle, your truck, as a backup mag, 
That's huge, in my opinion. The firepower on this is huge. Huge advantage. I've had this pistol for several years, and one thing with having any pistol, in my opinion, for a while, is you're going to accumulate some holsters for it. And I have as well. Um, this is one option. This is a Galco Summer Comfort. Um, it's actually for a Glock 19, but has no problem holding a Glock 26. You just have a little bit extra leather on the inside, and it can double for a Glock 19 holster as well. Um, a decent holster, nice fit and finish. However, the comfort level of this holster to me, it's just too bulky, and it rides. You got to think your pants line is coming kind of right in here. To me, it just rides too high. And unless you have a really sturdy gun belt or your pants really cinched up tight, it want to draw. It wants to pull. It wants to pull out of the pants, and it works. Sometimes I sport this in colder weather, but I don't really use this Galco Summer Comfort much. A very low cost option is the Uncle Mike's style um, type of holster and these uh, these holsters for the money are actually pretty comfortable um, the retention is not very good on them but you're able to really seat this pistol deeply and really conceal it without any problem and given this sweat guard it really helps to keep the pistol off your skin and from gouging you um, a really cheap low-cost option for concealed carry. I really like this little holster. One of my other favorite little holsters is the Galco Tuck and Go. Uh, this one is the J-Hook Tuckable one. Excellent little holster. Really comfortable. Easy to slide in and out of the pistol. Love this little holster. I have another little uh, over the belt holster for it. Not bad. I use it quite a bit. I can double it with my Glock 19. Um, or even throw a car in there. And then an excellent poster for more uh, dressy occasions is the Crossbreed Tuckable Holster. Um, love this holster. It really distributes the weight of this pistol out nicely and makes it a great carry option um, when you're dressing up. I really like the ability of this of this holster to conceal this gun and make it tuckable as well as having the ability uh, to have fast abset access with good retention of the pistol. Retention on these holsters is pretty decent. And uh, I've really been a fan of these Galco or hybrid style holsters. Um, pretty cool. Um, that's it. Just a kind of a quick look at the Glock 26. Um, like my wife can uh, actually shoot this pistol uh, with quite a bit of ease um, out to 25 yards, no problem. Um, to me, which makes me really appreciate the shootability of this gun. It's a very easy gun to operate. Uh, very simple, you know, and that's that's what I like. In high stress situations, simple is good. Um, you know, you pull it, you pull the trigger. Simple as that. No safeties to disengage. Um, the trigger's very manageable once you get used to the Glock style triggers. And it, it it's very fast to shoot accurately, which is another big key feature of this gun for me. Um, to me, there's just not a lot of things that I can compare with this pistol that do a better job than what it does. Um, you know, there's some advantages to carrying a lightweight pistol. I mean, there's a reason I have a Car PF9. Um, there's a reason, you know, the kel PF9 um, is out there. And it's because of the slimness factor. Uh, when will Glock make a slim single stack 9mm uh, nine pistol, subcompact? I don't know. I've talked to them. There's rumors going around. Who knows? Glock always seems to be behind the times, in my opinion. I mean, how many years was it when... Uh, back straps were interchangeable back straps was something new and something that everybody had started doing you know it wasn't until uh, recently 
that Glock started making the Gen 4s with the interchangeable back straps. Um, to me, Glock products are excellent, excellent products, and they work. I mean, and that's kind of the cool thing about Glock products is um, they're, I mean, they're just little tanks. They just keep going and don't break. They've got a good product. However, they've also need to change with the times and produce things that are appropriate. And uh, in my opinion, the compact pistol market needs a solid quality 9mm single stacked option by Glock that can compete with the PM9, the kel PF9 in size and weight. And if they can bring the same shootability of this Glock 26, it will vastly outsell uh, those other options in my opinion. I know Carr has came out with a CM9 which is a low cost option for uh, those small single stack nines. Uh, it's very similar to the PM9 with some kind of cost saving options. Um, I think the car is a good pistol. I've had excellent luck with mine. I've seen some negative comments out there on the car PM9 but I'm several thousand rounds into mine and have had zero problems. Um, this gun, uh, being a, even a Glock, it jammed on me in the first hundred rounds that I shot this pistol. Uh, since then, it has chugged away through thousands and thousands of factory rounds, plus P rounds, plus P plus, um, 147, 124, 85 grain, 90 grain, 115, 100 grain, whatever bullet weight I put in it, it chugs along with like a champ, um, tons and tons of reloads um, and no problems absolutely no problems it uh, shoots them like a champ um, I, I can't ask for better uh, reliability I would definitely trust my life with this pistol um, excellent rig it looks like the sun's trying to fade on us um, this is kinda just a little outside review but Glock 26, one of my personal favorite concealed carry pistols out there due to its inherent reliability, its weight, its size efficiency, its firepower. It's really hard to beat <laughs> as a concealed carry pistol. There's not many things on the market, in my opinion, that will beat it. The SR9C doesn't beat it, size and weight. The Smith & Wesson MMPC doesn't beat it. The XD Compact doesn't beat it in size and weight and none of them will touch it in firepower 33 rounds in a, in a magazine for this little pistol nothing else can offer you that amount of firepower in such a small lightweight portable package yes it has some weight some uh, width to the slide but it is carryable it all depends on comfort anyways this is Doc 6 millimeter signing out Sorry for the panning. My uh, little buddy's with me today. See you guys.